yeah, it would probably help if I had my microphone plugged in. Um, there we are. <laughs> All right. So that will be done in 88 days. I think that's probably the fastest we can do. Um, yeah, that's maxed out. Um, what are we looking at in terms of research? What's more material science? Um, this one. Aluminum fuselage tanks and then also service module? Yes. So we'll get that. That should be good. Um. I think that or early science are probably our f next sort of objective. But in the meantime, we have Blahage. Okay. Um. And I can't brush research now. Yeah. All right. Okay, begin rollout. Go ahead and brush that. Why is staff yellow? Find. Okay. We need to queue up a new Blahaj one that uses the desired tank types. All right. Procedural wing supersonic. Mmm, true. My Delta V info. Just want to see how um how long the burn time is. It's my microphone. Oh, it is crazy dark out here. Um, <clears throat> I 
Also, do I just not have control? No, I do. I... Why wouldn't I have the Delta V info? See, it should tell me. Like, do we have avionics? Yeah. It is. I want to say. I don't know. I don't know why it wouldn't be showing me. For some reason, I had to factory reset. Interesting. Minute 36, minute 43 is what it's rated for. Um, that is ample enough Delta V. Um, We'll do this, and that really doesn't affect much. Um, I'm going to get it down to seven tons. And then we'll be good. Don't actually think I have anybody in the audience right now, but... It is kind of a weird time for me to be streaming, so. Okay. Not you cloaking. But I, I just want to be able to move. Guess I'll do that in flight. Um, close that. the one P. So that should be good. We'll add fins on it um, later as we'll have the supersonic wings unlocked. Howdy, Kerbal Boy. Um, and then, yeah. 
I'm getting pistachios out. Oops, somebody did something. Alpha Mense, thank you for the follow. Alright. So, Blahaj is ready to launch. I think we're going to warp until sunrise. As that won't kill us. And it'll mean that y'all can actually see the launch. Howdy. I thought it was stupid. I'm talking to Caroline, who's next to me, but I thought it was stupid when we bought the three pound bags of pistachios, but it, it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. It paid off. Mm -hmm. I was like, there's no way in hell I can eat this many pistachios, and I absolutely can. Mm -hmm. Like, put me in, coach. All right. Second try is the charm, right? Okay. Airspace around my city is busy. Good to hear? Sorry to hear? Neutral to here? I don't I don't know. We live what, ten miles from an airport? So we hear planes decently frequently. This is not what I needed. Wanted the Delta V info. <laughs> oh, do we have the new supersonic effects? Oh, we do. So if anybody has seen, um, the Mirage Dev reentry mod. Um, I have that installed. It's not available yet, but I managed to get my hands on a copy through a uh, modder Discord that I'm in. And yeah, it has supersonic effects. It's pretty good. It's still very early in development, though. But it looks like we have had a successful launch. Thank God. And we'll be completing this contract. And I just toggle these open real quick. Uh, alarm clock, no. Using the different HUD, I am. I did my own nav bomb. Um, that's like kind of a cross between the nav ball that the mod advertises and the um, Principium or Principium um, nav ball. So okay. We're going to hopefully get some science. 
Go ahead and arm the shoots. Thank you. I thought it looked good. I like the colors of the more modern one, but I like the more detailed layout of this one. Or of the uh, Incipia one. So. Hopefully this survives. What mock are we going? About mock four. The force is climbing. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, you can see these like mesh based super supersonic effects. Um they look a lot better than the stock game. They need to be tweaked for realism overhaul, but yeah. Yeah, if you message me on the Discord, I can totally get you this file. You want this one? It's like not completely cracked open, mm -hmm. so I can't get it. I don't want Garbo nut? How dare you? Okay. Wanted to make sure that those shoots were going to deploy. And we are going to touch down at a comfortable speed of like three and a half meters per second. Well within margin. <clears throat> you can move the nav ball in stock settings. Yes, you can. Um, I specifically am looking for a mod that will let me put it right about here, which you can't do. Um... But other than that, I'm fine with what I have. All right, uh, recover vessel, normal recovery. And we have completed the first contract. At least the first one other than like first launch and Carmen line, which were pretty easy. Okay. Ten whole science. Wow. God damn. Alright, well. That's reconditioning. We'll have supersonic planes in... Oh god, two months? Yeah, 55 days. Ain't bad at all. Um... We are tearing through it. We're starting to break out. So... We need that one. This. Um... This is probably more important, though. 
Um, then we're, we're gonna want that. But I say we hold off and only buy the things that we need to get to orbit. I'm going to try and do that as fast as I can. <laughs> so... Okay. That looks good. All right. So the next question becomes, what are we doing for an intermediate size rocket? Now, I have a couple of ideas. Um, the first is to use a single alicorn booster and go from there. Um, maybe a blahage on top. should basically look like this. Oh, but this is ground support only. Correct. Okay. Well. Open, do not save. Because, <clears throat> yeah, this should pretty much work. Um, we just got to rescale this. So we want something kind of like that. Avionics prototypes, that should be good. And how much Delta V does that give us? Ooh, not like that. Um, about 5,000. Which will do one of the two. Um, now we add the third stage. And where does that get us? Okay, open close. IEV Pathfinder has dropped its drop tank. Is getting into a lowly, uh, into a low, roughly equatorial mon orbit. Nice. Hmm. 
Mm. That's not really working that well. Um, call this proto downrange. Um, save that. We'll open up Alicorn one, and then we'll just attach it from the there essentially. Uh, don't save. Okay, so this is not staged properly at all. Love that for me. Um, okay, so these fire, and then this to couples. Um, pro proto alicorn, we'll call that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. We'll do this, and then we'll do four fairings. Um, and then that separates, and then that separates, and then oh. That separates and that separates. So that gives us eight, which should be enough for the other one. Um, let's see. If we fully tool it, yeah, at current build time, it takes two years, which means that by the time we get there, this will be easy. Um, I want to see. <clears throat> So that gets six. Um, so proto alicorn one. This will be proto alicorn two. Then proto alicorn three would be sort of this thing. So minus, ugh, minus all of that. that's our, our sort of intermediate rocket family. Um, not perfect, has a lot of work to do still, but it's close enough that we can start looking at options uh, pretty soon. Um, Lahaj1A, okay. But that'll actually be flying in 85 days. We will have we should have that by then. Okay. <clears throat> so warp until this is complete. Um and we gotta see what is required of us so switch to admin building um we need low space film return and low space advanced biological suborbital experiment um i think i'm here i don't know what the red line is um I guess just the end. So So low space film return is going to be our next objective. Um This needs 200 kilometers downrange with the film camera and recovering it. So let's see what we can do. Is 
that's a little hard. The most annoying part of switching to new version of RSSRO is the removal of stock Delta V readout. I miss it so much. Yeah, eh, I never used it. And it wasn't particularly accurate, but I'm sure if you did use it, it's a pretty big sort of detriment. That didn't work. Whoops. For context, I just exploded a pistachio with a set of pliers. That's why they have nutcrackers. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Okay. So... Go to Blahage 1. Purge in these fins. <clears throat> okay. So... I'm wondering if we simulate it like this, if we can get to that orbit. Um, well, first of all, let's do that. Um, and we'll be good. But second of all, um, what is the actual contract requirement? I'm knocking my camera around. Whoops. Okay. So no, like, requirement for ballast or payload or anything else. Just film camera recovery. 100 kilometers. Downrange 200. We can almost certainly do that. Okay. Avionics, everything appears to be tooled. We should be good to go. Um I don't know. That'll point it west, I think, or east. No. West. East. East. We'll see if that works. In my experience, it was pretty much accurate in the VAB. Um, fair. I think they just wanted you to have to have avionics on something to see that, which is a little dumb, but... Because you could definitely calculate the thrust to weight ratio of something without having a computer on it. Ah, fuck me. There we go. There's the sun. So we want the um, flight recorder. We're really just looking at that downrange indicator. Um, okay. I just want to see what this, holding this sort of attitude will actually get us in terms of downrange.
Also, advanced burn time indicator for maneuver nodes just doesn't work because fuck you. Yeah, no, it would be nice if that worked. Well, we're already like four kilometers downrange, <clears throat> four and a half. So it's looking good. I'm just wondering if we're gonna make it to a hundred kilometers. We can take that off technically, but <clears throat> I don't know how, um, Required that might be. Okay, so that's about the maximum attitude we could reasonably expect to hold. And even that, it looks like, isn't going to work. Um, purely on account of tumbling um i want to see what we get in terms of downrange though not a ton um so it might be time to consider putting a second stage on this. Um, as that might be required. So cancel edits. Only thing is, we would have to modify the, um, the launch complex for that. I don't know how easily we can do that. Okay. Hundred meters per second extra. May not be the worst thing in the world. Could that fit with the fairings on top? Technically, no, but kind of yes. Um, thing is, that doesn't actually give us more Delta V. So we might need something better. Um... Maybe Unicorn can help us here. 
Pressure fed ullage. Oh, fuck. That's not any showstoppers that should still be able to airlight. Um, and it's using a sort of form factor that we already have. Um, I need to actually know how big this thing is. Instinct wants me to say 1.25 and instinct is right. Um, so 125 to, what is this, six? I need to see how this controls. Because the answer I'm expecting is really bad. Like, abysmally terrible. Um, Also, don't know if this has avionics, insufficient avionics, but like barely. Um, what if I just like knock a little bit of fuel out of you? Like, what if I just breathe slightly less heavy? That's good. Cool. Um,. What's the diameter of this? 1.3 to So this looks insane, and it probably is. However, um, I don't know, maybe it works. Like maybe, maybe it works. Um, I literally would just need batteries. I guess I would just detach this thing once we're in the atmosphere. So, like, that would work. Theoretically. Um, we would stage it this, that, this, um, This, that, this, that. <sighs> Fuck me if it's not weird as shit, but... 
Maybe it works. I don't know. Okay. Where is your center of uh, lift right now? In an okay spot, surprisingly. Aerodynamics? I hardly know her. Yeah, yeah. Many such cases. Um... This is hardly a starter, but let's give it a shot. Ooh. I think a far better idea will be to build an upper stage that can just be detached or attached directly to Blahaj. But we'll see. Okay. So, atmospheric autopilot enabled, moderation absolutely disabled. Ignition and lift off. We're going to ignore the fact that we don't have um, control authority. We also barely have the thrust to weight ratio to get off the ground. Um, not so shockingly. Flight recorder. This looks like the weirdest, like, early nuclear bomb thing. Um... So, we're going to shed the fairings. What the fuck was that? Structural fair failure. Nice. Um, Yeah, and this thing can't point properly. So, no, I don't think that that's going to be the the right solution. Um, Now, the question becomes, can we, using fascinating, um, using some very small liquid engine, like this one, or like the the Veronique, which is a good bit bigger. Can we build something that has enough delta V to make this worth it? Um. This needs high pressure tanks. We have high pressure tanks. Um, 39 seconds. We could possibly do that. Um,
We would have to tool some stuff is the only thing. Um, and I don't know how much that's going to cost us. But... I mean, that should work. We would just need avionics up here to keep it, um... Rollable. Which is what, two tons of avionics? And we'd have a 1.3 meter interstage. Uh, maybe move these in a little bit. Um, Lahash 2 will copy the um the color. Hey Caroline, did I ever tell you that I made a Miku plane? Okay. While I'm thinking about it. Um hopefully the steers. Um, and I think we follow a more conservative uh, flight trajectory, focus on getting this thing out of the atmosphere with the first stage, and then and only then getting it sort of well out of the atmosphere and downrange with the second stage. Um, we'll do 12 hours. Go ahead and submit. All right. And if my voice sounds a little weird, it's because I'm still recovering from that whole, like, post-nasal drip thing that I had a week ago. Hopefully it goes away soon. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna fly this manually. 1.10 off the pad is not abysmal. Um, oh, we do not have fins. Is the only thing. Ooh that might make this unflyable. Well, maybe not. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and stage in these things first. How long does this take? Start up? About half a second. Okay. Oh, and we need the flight recorder. But we are aiming for an apoapse of around 100. Folks in my neighborhood are having some sort of school board meeting um, because they're aggressively barking. <laughs> Nice. Um, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition, staging. It cannot point in the right direction. Um, this has the control authority, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some very small fins on it. 
And I'm gonna bank on that stabilizing it aerodynamically. Um, I want to say we had an apoapse there of around 50 kilometers, which is not great. It's not terrible. And that'll probably do. Um, we can remove these because we're not really aiming to recover this at this time. We can make this quite a bit shorter. Um, it's long enough not to clip things. Um, oh, excuse me. So that gets our, um, our thrust to weight ratio up into a much more respectable position. Um, only concern is that this is gonna be really hard to steer. Um, let's see. According to Ferrum, it should be good. Um, and I do trust Ferrum. So. suppose we will trust it. Um, go ahead and color these. That blue color. We'll see if this works. Yes, I know. Cool. Okay. Gonna try flying this thing straight up at first. And just kind of steering it a little bit later in flight. So. Yeah. Um, get this thing pointed straight up instead of heading whatever direction that is. Oh. South, I believe. If my compass directions are correct. Okay. This thing to climb a little bit more, a little bit more. Also need the uh, flight recorder. Up and running. Okay, staging, separation. For some reason, it does not work. Um, hmm. It's probably the fuel. And I bet if I move that up, we we'll probably get something to work. Problem is that makes the sort of entire spacecraft heavier. Um, but it might be worth it.
Um, we'll do 500 and we'll call that good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Save that. And where is our... Uh... Okay. Okay. So um, I think I do this and I make this whoa um the two tons and I maybe I don't do that. Let's try this. What if we do this whole thing? Um, make this the hollow cylinder. Outer diameter of um, one, two, five. Inner diameter of way less than that. Point five is probably good. Good. Put those on there, and then <clears throat> this is our smooth cone part. Um, We'll do that, and then we'll do a really small one. That can get us to where we need to be with only minor issues. Um, but that should at least stage properly. Um, For what that's worth. Um, maybe make the fins bigger. I don't know. But this 
This is our weird little fucked up hammerhead blahage. And let's give it a go. Um... Light recorder. This pulled up. Um, staging. I mean, it pointed in the right direction, so if we can hot stage it, we can do this. Let's just see to it that the parachute works. Yep, sure does. All right. Uh, let's try this one more time, but that might have been it. <laughs> oh, I needed that open. Staging, and it has propellant floating again. Wonder if I just don't hot stage it? Just separate, then stage? Because it seems to stabilize out pretty fast. Probably on account of having so much drag. Um, hmm. All right. And we are off. Pretty much just need a burn time indicator. Um, <laughs> I 
and we'll get this pulled up. <clears throat> As that'll tell us sort of how stable we are so I don't accidentally ignite this thing when it's really not in good condition. Maybe not. This is not going to work at all. <laughs> Fun idea, I guess. But no. Um, what if Actually, how much downrange do we get from this whole ordeal? Because it feels pretty damn far downrange. <clears throat> oh my god, I just had an idea. I just had an idea. I need all the butters. I might, but alternatively, what if I just pilot the Blahaj like a plane? Like, what if I just make a plane? Because if it needs to go 200 kilometers downrange, we could just take it there. We could just fucking make that happen. Um. Yeah, so, like, what if I do this? Um. Do this whole thing. Uh. Slap that bad boy on there. And then just give her wings. Right? Like, does it subtract from the delta v? Absolutely, but we probably have enough, definitely, to get to a hundred kilometers. Um, this makes this thing more of an X plane than anything, but there's no rules against X planes. Um. Additionally, this will probably make modifying the launch pad easier. Um, if I had to take a guess. All moving supersonic. Put one here. Um, we'll make it a little bit chunkier. And... That is our shark. Um... If it'll work. I'm gonna switch editors and see. We basically just want this thing to have a very cross range promoting shape. Um we're gonna want it to maybe have reaction controls as well. Um as once we're out of the atmosphere, uh we're gonna we're gonna probably want something to keep us stable. Um,
Okay. Those look good. Fill them with nitrogen. Put on the shroud. And that... That might be good. Um... That might be good. We'll just give it a little bit of loft um, to sort of start with. Then it should be good from there. Um, yeah, let's see how this works. Because this is more Delta V than the previous Blahages had, because um, it is quite a bit lighter. And if we can just take advantage of that weight reduction, give it some wings, and allow it to glide, then, I mean, that might be 200 kilometers there. I just don't know if this thing will survive, is the only thing. But, previous have, and they've... I mean, they didn't even have supersonic wings, they had early wings. So, I think our odds are decent. Um... But only time will tell. So, flight recorder? Yeah, the thing is, is that it is non-negotiable. We have to get this thing over the carbon line. Um... Okay. So... Go ahead and pitch down slightly. This thing is running... We have reaction controls. We have nitrogen. Um, go ahead and gimbal lock that. So, craft settings. Um, Angle of attack to that. Moderate G to maybe three. Side slip to one. Side G to one. Um. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Um.
Alright, we just gotta pull this thing out of the dive. Um... But that is functional, I would say. Um, and now we just have to glide this thing. And that that'll count. That'll that'll do two hundred kilometers downrange. Um, because it never said I needed to be two hundred kilometers out of the atmosphere. Um, so that should count. Um, yeah. Or at least something like this. Um... Maybe. Um... So that's option one. Don't know that we go with that. But it is kind of sort of on the table. Now, option two would be adding boosters. Um, seeing if that can... Um, sort of do us well. But I don't know how much even adding like nine boosters is going to do for us. Willing to try it. Just really delta to this thing. But yeah, I mean that's only a hundred meters per second extra. Hundred and fifty. So and it I mean it adds a lot in build time. Um Does that have upgrades? No. Um, is this gimbal? Do you do you gimbal by chance? Is your upgrade gimbal by chance? Your absolute last upgrade does, but that doesn't help us much. Um, hmm. This thing does not gimbal. No. Because really what we need is a small gimbalable rocket engine. That would be nice. But let me... Let me load... What is probably our closest to functional design. Um... Let's do this. So, we're going to pitch it down 15 degrees, we'll say. And that should 
get us somewhat close. If this thing lights. Big if. O Z space. And we're off. Um, going hella sideways, but that's all right. More or less, that's what we want. Um, go ahead and turn on caps lock. Okay, we are regaining control. So that's not bad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pitch down a little bit, but only a tad. Um, and yeah, as we cross 10, I'll go ahead and nose down more. And by 15 kilometers, we're at 60 degrees. worked. We need to climb quite a bit. Uh, let's see how close we get to this sort of downrange. Not that close. Not even to mention that we're not getting there, um, but not that close. So we might just need a bigger rocket, um, like on our first stage, which we could use one of the Alicorn prototypes and that might do the trick. Um, and we'll just keep the blahaj that we're building right now for, um, sort of later use. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, so that's not exactly doable with current tech. Nor is it required by any means, um, as we have so much Delta V. Um, oh, but I do need the avionics off that thing, I think. As, let's see, yes, this, um, as that'll give us complete control, um, starting avionics, that's actually pretty good, um, let's see. I'm going to need to do a new command core. Um, one hour. That is good enough, honestly. Um... And then 
We'll just do a really quick, like, interstage adapter thing. Or actually, we don't even need it to be an interstage adapter. We just need a boat tail. So we'll just do a boat tail. If it'll let me. Um... All right, give me one second, y'all. I'll be right back.
Thank you. But yes, this is probably going to be Blahaj 2, um, as it's a lot more like a Blahaj than it is a Unicorn or Pegasus, or Alicorn, rather. Um, so if we tool all of it, it takes a year, which is much more than I would like, but... It will almost certainly do the job, and it serves as a precursor to both our orbital rocket and pretty much all of our suborbital rockets coming after this. So, I'm not opposed um, by any means. Um, we don't actually even need that much avionics. We can probably bring this down a little bit. That's good enough. Um, so let's say we hired, hired double the engineers. We could build this in 200 days. That's not bad. Because um, that'll be, what, 7, 2? Yeah, less than 200 days. I think we commit to this. Um... I think we commit to this. I think we should test it. But I don't see any reason why this wouldn't be able to do the job. Um, oh, we need a, a launch stand. Or something resembling one. Gonna actually put it on like a nice launch pad because this is our first thing that is kind of like a good vehicle. <laughs> um is it called a Thor pad? Vanguard launch stand. Not quite what we need. Thor Delta. That is exactly what it is called. It's not there. Oh, right. Okay. It's rock and roll.
this thing is a lot louder. So let's turn down the volume a bit. We will probably need fins on this thing, though. <clears throat> As by the time engines cut off, we're still going to be a good bit in the atmosphere. But that's okay. Oh, well, maybe we won't. Yeah, shit, maybe we won't. Yeah, and we are crushing this downrange requirement. Um, we are going to go ahead and stage at about 150 kilometers or so. But yeah, we have almost a completed photography experiment. Um... Which is a pretty damn big deal. Um, we just need to put a science core on there, essentially. And that is a game crash. <laughs> Oof. Well, I think that I'm just going to end stream there. Because um, by the time I get Kerbal up and running, uh, we're probably not going to be live anymore. But um, we can go ahead and raid Ray's space. It has been awesome having y'all here. Jesus, if I can not have caps lock on. It has been awesome having y'all here. And uh, yeah, I'll be live next Saturday. We'll be doing more Kerbal. We'll probably be fucking around with this rocket in particular. Um, until then, it's been great. And I will see y'all around. Until then, it's been great, and I will see you all around. This little yellow dot that we